Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's ambitious pursuit of global relevance faced another setback as the couple's request for an invitation to India was reportedly ignored by President Draupadi Mormo. The rejection dealt a significant blow to the Sussexes, particularly Meghan, who was left feeling deeply upset, angry, and desperate. This incident highlights the complex challenges the couple faces as they attempt to redefine their roles on the world stage, far removed from the privileges of their former royal lives. Since stepping back from their royal duties, Meghan and Harry have been working tirelessly to establish themselves as influential global figures, engaging in philanthropy and advocacy work. They have consistently strived to be seen as leaders rather than celebrities hoping to cement their place in international circles through high-profile engagements. However, the snub from India serves as a stark reminder that their past royal status does not automatically translate into acceptance or influence among global leaders. The Sussexes viewed the potential visit to India as a golden opportunity to enhance their philanthropic image, aligning with their broader ambitions of becoming prominent global advocates for social causes. For Meghan, in particular, the invitation was not just about attending an event but about validation and recognition on a grand scale, a chance to be seen as a serious and impactful figure in the world of global philanthropy. The rejection, however, has only underscored the lingering reluctance among world leaders to engage with them, reflecting a broader skepticism fueled by ongoing controversies and negative perceptions that have plagued the couple since their departure from royal life. The refusal to acknowledge Meghan and Harry's request not only tarnishes their public image, but also raises critical questions about their strategy and approach. Despite their efforts to cultivate a philanthropic brand, the couple has struggled to distance themselves from their past, where public and media scrutiny often overshadowed their charitable endeavors. This latest snub signals that without the royal halo, their attempts at global influence may be more challenging than anticipated. Media reports have amplified Meghan's emotional response to the rejection, depicting her as angry and desperate, a portrayal that could further damage their reputation. Such narratives feed into the ongoing perception that Meghan is persistently seeking validation and struggling to gain the influence she once enjoyed as a member of the British royal family. The constant scrutiny and negative media coverage only complicate their efforts to manage their public image, adding pressure to their already tumultuous journey toward global recognition. The broader implications of this rejection are clear. The Sussex's celebrity status, while still commanding attention, does not equate to the diplomatic influence and access they once possessed. The rejection by India might be a turning point, prompting the couple to reassess their approach to international engagement. As they continue to face barriers to global acceptance, Meghan and Harry may need to shift their focus toward grassroots initiatives, local collaborations, and more authentic, community-based projects that resonate with the public. This pivot could involve a move away from the high-profile international platforms they have so far pursued, opting instead for smaller, more impactful actions that demonstrate genuine commitment rather than spectacle. By grounding their efforts in real, on-the-ground work, the Sussexes might find the authenticity they need to rebuild their public personas and secure a lasting legacy beyond their royal past. The snub from President Mormu serves as a sobering reminder that global relevance cannot be bought or demanded. It must be earned through consistent, meaningful action. For Meghan and Harry, the road ahead will likely involve more setbacks and lessons as they navigate the complexities of public life outside the protective bubble of royalty. The question remains whether they can adapt and evolve their strategies to gain the respect and recognition they so desperately seek on the world stage.